Greetings, Cyberdogs and citizens of the internet! This is Rendog coming at you from on top of the Nether Portal Temple in this Let's Play Minecraft Survival Series. In the previous episode, we were working furiously on the Molmart Bazaar, and in this episode, my friends, we are going to be doing some sweet ass stuff including finishing the roof of the Molmart Bazaar and taking a look at some of the brand new additions that I have made to the supermarket, including a brand new room. We're also going to be having a look at the final design for the Molmart Bazaar Nether Market. And let me tell you something, my sabba diggity dogs, it is looking freaking so weird. Sit back and relax, my sabba diggity dogs. Let's play some Minecraft survival. Whoo, doggy, am I excited about today's episode, guys. Oh, man, I just can't wait to show you all of the amazing things that I've done to the Molmart Bazaar. In fact, I'm going to take this opportunity to take a sip of my tasty-ass beverage while you guys have a look at the glory that is the brand new roof of the bazaar, man. Give me one second. Mm. And I am sure you guys will agree that this roof is looking absolutely pimp McDaddy McPimps. And that is double McPimpage, man. <laughs> and when we double McPimp something, we know that it is awesome. Guys, at the end of the last episode, I had just begun working on the roof of the Molmart Bazaar. And you know something? I kind of liked the previous design, but there was just something about the roof that wasn't quite working within my freaking soul. And it was a comment from one of you cyber dogs on the previous episode that really got my creative juices flowing and really got me thinking about a new design for the roof of the Molmart Bazaar. And this comment came from a moderator on dogcraft.net known as Staircase Climber. And Staircase Climber said to me, Ren diggity dog, I dig the way that you are going with the roof. But to tell you the freaking truth, it's not really giving me the wow factor, man. It's not making me think, damn, that is a sweet ass roof. And SCC, I 100% agreed with you. And I had a look at our old design and I realized, you know what? We could probably do a lot more with the roof of uh, the Molmart Bazaar. And as you guys can see, I've come to a pretty sweet ass configuration over here using slabbage and using dark oak wood plankage. And I think that this roof is worthy of a wow factor. Also, guys, you may have noticed that the graphics are looking a lot better around here. And that's because I've installed the Optifine mod. Uh, I was getting starting to get a ton of lag because of the item frames inside of the Molmart Bazaar. One of you cyber dogs told me that item frames tend to to lag Minecraft. So I've installed Optifine and man, things are actually looking a lot more awesome around here since then, man. The moon is looking sweeter. The sun is looking sweeter. The clouds are looking epic. And there is like a northern star over there too, which is pretty sweet. But I'll tell you what, guys, I'm going to sleep this night away before we get a whole bunch of spawnage around here and uh, we will reconvene on top of the roof. Oh no, we've got an invasion. Die, you bastard. Eat it and give me your armor. Bam. Alright, we need to start getting some more, uh... Oh, there's zombies everywhere! <laughs> Die, bastard! Why are the golems not doing their business? Excuse me. Ex excuse me. Greg, two and three. Uh, excuse me. I'm talking to your freaking pumpkin head ass. Did you not see a whole bunch of zombie spawnage going on, gone up in here? You bastard! Do your freaking jobs, man. I didn't pay you in pumpkin bits for nothing. Oh, man. Sometimes you just got to give your employees a good talking to. You know what I'm saying, cyber dogs? <laughs> All right, guys. Anyway, let's get back to the serious business of finishing the Molmart Bazaar because it has been a long ass time that we've been working on this project and we are almost there, guys. And man, am I excited to show you all the work that I have done since the previous episode. Now, if you guys remember at the end of the last episode, I just started working on the roof of the Molmart Bazaar. And I made a sort of lip that stuck out of the top of our building over here, uh, three blocks wide, and it was actually way too long. It was, it was too deep, actually. And one of you cyber dogs noticed, man, you guys have such amazing freaking eyeballs. Seriously, man, you guys surprise me every single episode when I read the comments. But uh, one of you guys noticed that the roof was actually covering the solar panel of, panel of this street lamp over here. And that is a bad thing, man. So what I, I decided to do was to to shorten the lip of this roof to two blocks. And we have now re-exposed our panel over here to the sunshine, which is epic. 
I think it's also probably the right width. I think three blocks wide was a little bit too wide. It was looking a little bit weird. I also dropped the level of the lip by half a block. So if we dig under here, if you guys can remember, there used to be stone bricks over here. And what I've done is I've replaced those bricks with slabbage. And the reason that I've done that is because I've gone for some aesthetic consistency around here. I was having a look at the roof design in the previous episode and it wasn't very consistent uh, all around. It was basically like a sort of mishmash of slabbage, stone bricks and dark oak wood and it just wasn't looking consistent enough. And if we come to this position over here, we can see now that we know that the roof is made out of dark oak wood and slabs. It's a very clear design of the roof. You could almost lift the roof off in 3D if you use your imagination. You could almost lift it off the Malmart Bazaar and, and it, it could come away cleanly as a single entity. So that's basically what I wanted to do there. I've also added these stairs over here to each of these pillars. And the reason that I've done that is because there is a skeleton in there, man. <laughs> the reason that I've done that is because I wanted to break up the uh, the sort of the the, the, the the symmetry of the wall uh, of the Malmart Bazaar. It was looking kind of flat because it was it was a very long building, a very flat wall. Even though the glass panes helped to add a bit of depth, um, adding these um, these stairs over here added this like really cool little light effect. And I used a bit of glowstone over here to create what I want to add all the way around the Malmart Bazaar which is this little sort of lamp feature. And that's gonna help shed some light onto the roof of the Malmart Bazaar and stop the spawnage, hopefully. Um, but it also adds a really nice effect, I think, to the overall roof structure. And if we look up at the Malmart Bazaar from this position over here, I think it's starting to look really freaking sweet, man. Check it out. We've got the entrance over here, and then we've got these iron bars over here to sort of let some air in there, man. Because damn, there is some stanky ass jazz in there. There's old steaks and old carrots and taters in there, man. We need to make sure it's completely aerated. And one of you cyber dogs pointed out that the entrance kind of looks like a face. <laughs> and it really does, man. Check it out. There are the eyeballs and there's the mouth. It's kind of like, uh, come inside and spend your gold nuggets. <laughs> it's kind of hypnotic, man. Um, but it looks, it looks really sweet. And I think that this new design that I've added over here has really helped to break up the flatness of the wall of uh, the Malmart Bazaar. It's looking really, really awesome, I think. And it's starting to really come to life as a building. It's starting to really feel like a building now. Whereas before it was just like a giant ass rectangle with some squares in it. Now it's really starting to feel like a, like a corporate supermarket, which is exactly what I was going for, man. So we still need to work on the entrance room over here. Oh, one of you cyber dogs actually pointed out that this, this block over here was not a bit of stone slabbage. Uh, so I wanted to fix that in this video for you. There you go, my friend. Your OCD can now rest. <laughs> and um, also, I think the same Cyberdog pointed out that I had connected a whole bunch of green white panes above some of the shelves over here. All of this has now been repaired, guys. It's all been sorted. Every single uh, side panel of every single shelf in the Malmark Bazaar is now 100% symmetrical. Looking absolutely awesome. Jock, I need your help, man. There's a freaking skeleton butt up, up in here. Take him down. Chinatown. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Owned. Good doggy. Jock the second, you are freaking sweet, man. But check it out. We've got a whole bunch of awesome symmetry going around here. And the Malmark Bazaar interior is looking awesome. I've also had a go at starting to sort of uh, categorize the different lanes. And I don't know, man, I'm still going to work on it. But at the moment, let me know what you guys think. Uh, we've got a sort of grocery aisle over here. So we've got our vegetables over here. We've got taters, carrots, apples. Uh, melons and a, and a bit of shroom action over there then we've got our meat over here we've got fish chicken mutton pork steakage then we've got our bakery section we've got bread cake cookies eggs and a bowl of soup which is probably in the wrong place and then we start sort of getting into more crafting materials we've got sugar and bone meal and cane and freaking wheat and then we start getting into sort of color matching or, or stuff to like dye stuff with we've got green red yellow black we've got a bit of cacti over there we got our our, uh, our ores over here with some emerald action and quartz um, and then a whole bunch of stuff here. I'm just sort of experimenting with the layout. I'm not 100% sure yet how I want the Malmart Bazaar to be laid out, but it is looking pretty awesome. Uh, and man, I'm just loving it in here. And what I really wanted to show you guys is what it looks like when you look up through the neon lights towards the roof. And you can see in this position here that the, the darkness of the roof really helps to break up the pixel chaos of this neon light design that we've got going on in here so i'm really happy with how it's turned out uh the beam above there also is really nice look at that layering over there guys it really adds a nice bit of depth when you look up uh, towards the roof i'm really happy with that 
What I've also done, guys, some of you guys may have noticed, is that I've added another room into the Lawmark Bazaar. And this room over here still needs a little bit of work. But what I realized when I started categorizing the shelves over here is that these, these chests are just not big enough for crafting materials. So I'm talking about like wood, slabbage, stones, cobblestone, uh, you know, nether bricks, all of the jazz that we're going to need to build Mole City. We need a lot more space for that. So I've added kind of like a DIY section. Uh, over here to the Mall Mart Bazaar and what I want to keep in here is like cobblestone and stone and slabs, stairs, all that sort of jazz, all of the wooden uh, crafting materials that we'll need. Anything that we need to actually craft buildings in Mall City, I'm going to keep in the DIY section over here and we'll keep all the other items uh, that we need in Minecraft in the Mall Mart Bazaar over here. Now, I'm extremely excited about the next part of this uh, episode, guys. Well, firstly, we're going to finish off the roof, but before we do that, I want to show you the work that I have done to the nether market, man. And hold on to your freaking paws, my friends, because it is looking freaking sweet up in here, man. Let's get up into our secret room over here. Now, feast your freaking doggy eyeballs on this jazz, man. Check how sweet this nether market is starting to look. Oh, it is epic. What I've done is I've installed two shelves over here. Uh, and I, you can see that I've added some of the nasty ass items in Minecraft to the nether market. We've got glowstone, we've got some freaking skeleton, skeleton bone over here, an eyeball, some slime, some nether wart, and then, you know, we've got a, a, a ghast tear, we've got a, an, an ender pearl, we've got a freaking eye of the ender, some freaking magma cream, and a blaze rod. So it's all of the nasty ass jazzes in here, man. The kind of stuff that the witch uh, of, uh, <laughs> of Rentopia will be happy to come and shop in. What I've also done is I've, ex I've extended the width of the nether market by one block. So in the previous design, the nether market shelves were four blocks wide. And the reason that I extended it by one is because I wanted to make an altar for our ender chest. And I've got a really awesome idea for a design that I'm going to do in this episode for this position over here. And you can see that because we are now in an uneven number inside of the nether market, that is to say the width of the nether market is an uneven number, we can get a single block into the very center of the nether market and that single block is of course going to be the ender chest and uh, i'm going to be using some andesite to work on this uh, particular build or this altar build and uh, that is because one of you cyber dogs gave me an excellent idea in the comment section of uh, i think it was episode nine one of you guys said why don't you use some of the materials that you collected on that deadly ass mission that you went on that you actually died in because we did manage to get some andesite and some diorite and some other jazz also which is really awesome uh, and i'm going to try and use some of those new materials when we construct that uh, that ender that ender chest build man it's going to be freaking awesome but man <laughs> i had so much freaking jazz to show you guys that i haven't even uh, got a chance to start crafting in today's episode so we might as well get right to it we don't have very much left to do on the roof over here what we need to do is connect this part of the roof up together make sure that that looks absolutely awesome and uh, just finish off this side of the roof too what i really really like about this roof is the fact that it's probably the most complex roof that i've built in my minecraft survival series so far it's certainly the most detailed you know most of our roofs are sort of uh, one texture and one design like if you look at the roof of the uh, griswold family apartments over there it's sort of the same design as beatrice's house over here and this roof design over here guys you can see uses multiple layers and segments and it also uses these the stair these stairs over here at the top to create this sweet ass like sort of jagged effect which i think looks really really awesome um and i'm just i'm just super stoked with how the roof has come out i'm absolutely loving this freaking design man um, and I hope you guys are, are liking it too. I know that uh, quite a few of you in the previous episode, w w like you guys weren't really that happy with the design of the roof in the previous episode. And, and I, you know, to be honest with you, I, I was kind of with you, man. I didn't want the roof to be too flat. I wanted the roof to have some sort of height to it, but I also didn't want it to be so high that it would, uh, that it would block out the view of the nether portal temple. And I think we pretty much cracked it over here, guys. All right, guys, welcome back. I just went to sleep that night away and just been doing a little bit more work on the roof over here. What I wanted to show you was how I, I was doing these awesome ass uh, slab beams over here. And what I was doing is I was actually following the same line as the cross beams inside of the Malmart Bazaar uh, by replacing the dark oak wood slabs with these stone slabs. And this actually creates a really awesome effect, not only on the outside, but on the inside of the Malmart Bazaar too. Because when you look up, you can see these slab, these like slab pillars, I guess, or these slab crossbeams 
holding up the roof from the inside and I think that looks really awesome and uh, these these th it also helps to create these this sort of segmented effect and also helps to create this sort of this depth to the segments which I think looks really really awesome um, and as you guys can see man we we have used a ridiculous amount of slabbage uh, in the construction of this roof in fact I think this is the last bit of slabbage that I might have and by last bit I mean I've converted every single bit of stone uh, that I have in the storage rooms into slabbage and converted most of my cobblestone into stone to do that so it's been quite a freaking resource hungry build man but that's what minecraft is all about man it's about gathering your resources you know doing whatever is necessary to get the resources you need to be able to bring whatever build you have in your brain uh, to life and then spending the time to freaking make it happen man and that is why i love this game so freaking much uh, it's just there's just something so satisfying about collecting a whole bunch of freaking stuff spending hours upon hours upon hours of like grinding and and strip mining and going on adventures and slowly but surely storing up like a, a surplus of, of buildable of crafting materials in your in your minecraft world and then using all of those materials to put together uh, like a giant build like this right it's just so freaking awesome um, and speaking of awesome guys, I just want to take this moment to say a massive freaking thank you to all of you cyber dogs who have been supporting me uh, this year in 2015. Now that the Rain Dog channel is sort of back and kicking and we're getting sort of daily videos out again and I'm able to make at least uh, three Minecraft videos a week, I know that, uh, you know, a, a ton of you guys have been watching and enjoying the videos. I can see it on, on, the, on the, the views, man. You guys are just watching it every single day. And I know that a ton of you guys have been really, really frustrated with like the lack of videos of my, on my channel over the last six months. And uh, I know that a ton of you guys also left my channel and, and probably found that you like went elsewhere. And that's totally cool. I totally understand. But a ton of you guys out there have also stayed with me all the way through, man. And, and you've stuck by me and you've, you've written to me and you've sent me words of encouragement and sent me freaking awesome posts on Facebook and on Twitter and in, 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 on, in my YouTube channel um, comments. And, and it's you guys that have really pulled me through, man. You guys have really freaking got me back on track, got me working on YouTube videos every single night you know these days i finish work and i just i can't wait to get home and i can't wait to get home because i want to make videos for you guys man and i want to play minecraft and i want to bring our freaking world to life and and just get to you know just like meet all of the goals that we have been talking about over the last three seasons and, and just do all of the awesome things that we've wanted to do in this uh, in this series so a huge massive freaking thank you to all of you cyber dogs out there who are like just been with me through thick and thin loyal supporters man cyber dogs to the death you guys know who you are and you know huge massive thank you man and guys i also want to say a massive thank you to all of you cyber dogs who have been writing to me and emailing me um i mentioned a couple of videos ago that that uh, dog mail is coming back and i've already got like 10 uh, 10 to 15 emails from you guys and I just want to say to those of you guys who wrote to me, I've got your emails. I read them. I know that some of you guys are going through some really, really tough times at the moment. And I, and I really do hope that I'm going to be able to help you. And, and uh, you know, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna have a chat together in the next dog mail. And, and hopefully I can help you guys out. But um, yeah, I'm just, I'm feeling so much freaking love at the moment for the Cyber Dog Nation, guys. <laughs> oh man, it's, it, it's, just, it's just epic. Um, but yeah, this roof is almost done now, guys. And what I want to try and do is add a sort of horizontal crossbeam over here, right? This could this could look pretty cool. Let's have a look. How's this going to turn out? Yeah, this is looking pretty sweet. Check it out. Bam! And I think we need to, to carry on going down this side so that we can fill this little gap over here. So let's carry on going like this. And... I'll, I'll spend a bit of time like fixing this up and neatening everything up and uh, that's looking pretty sweet. There we go. All right, man. I think that is the roof pretty much finished. What I still need to do is add a roof on top of this new DIY section of Walmart, but I'm going to do that off camera because I think that'll probably take a little bit of planning. That room is a, a slightly smaller size to everything else in Walmart, so I'm going to have to think about that one a bit. But let's just head out in the distance so that we can have a look at what our finished roof looks like from here man check it out oh man that is just that is just looking epic i mean just gotta say guys i absolutely love it i think it looks absolutely awesome and um yeah 
what do you guys think let me know i love the, the spikes from the top i think that's a really nice addition uh, it's a very like um it's a very subtle addition but very very awesome um man <laughs> that is so awesome all right guys let's move on to the next part of today's episode before i freaking jazz all over the place because of the awesomeness of the Molmart Bazaar. <laughs> what I want to do now, guys, is head up to my bedroom to collect some andesite. And I want to try and make a so weird ass um, altar for our ender chest. And what I'm going to have to do is do a little bit of more trading with our villagers so that we can make another ender chest because we can't pick this one up. But I'm going to pick up a, a nice juicy ass stack of andesite. And I've also got in my inventory a whole bunch of rotten flesh because i'm a trade with one of griswold's sons i know that one of his sons trades rotten flesh for emeralds so i need to get i think it's seven or eight emeralds to get an ender uh, an eye of the ender from griswold and then we can make another ender chest for the altar so let's head over to the griswold family apartments to see if we can find butthole aka son of griswold um i think he's around here somewhere bro <laughs> i think you're confused that's a furnace you ain't gonna get no love from a furnace, my bro. <laughs> Man, he's getting he's getting really lonely in there, being trapped all by himself. Um, <laughs> son of Griswold, where are thee? Is this is this son of Griswold? This is son of Griswold. Hey, bro. Listen here, man. I got some rotten flesh for years. Give me some emeralds. I don't really want to know what you do with this rotten flesh, though. It's uh, it's kind of dodgy, bro. Like, what What are you actually doing with all of this rotten-ass, stanky-ass flesh? Your family must hate your ass, man. <laughs> he must stink so bad. Alright, let's try to find Griswold, man. Grizzy! Bro! Griswold! My man! I got some emeralds for you, bro. I need, a, I need an Eye of the Ender. I need, an, I need an eye of the ender from you, bro. Hello? It's Griswold. Broski. Ah, there you are. Hey, bro, what is what is going down? Check it out. I got some green blank for you, bro. Check it out, man. Give me an eye of the ender. Ah, thank you. <laughs> so weak. All right, guys, let's make one more ender chest up in here. There we go. So weak. All right. So this is the ender chest that I want to use for our ender chest altar. Now, let's make ourselves some polished andesite. And have a look how awesome polished andesite looks as a block, guys. Check it that. That looks absolutely awesome. And it's it, it's a perfect block for the nether market, I think. It's kind of dark. It's kind of creepy. And it's kind of just exactly what we need for our ender chest altar, man. I'm going to sleep this night away, guys. And then we're going to get back to the nether market and make that sweet-ass altar. All right, my sub diggity dogs. Welcome back. I've stepped the night away, the sun is rising, and we've got one more task for today's episode, and that is to make an altar for our ender chest in the nether market of the Molmart Bazaar. And, uh, man, it is going to be freaking sweet. Now, this is what I was thinking, guys. I wanted to kind of emulate the design that we had in the Cyberdog Monument with the water. I was having a look in this area, and I realized, hang on, we've got a whole bunch of water here that we could, we could possibly use. So what I want to do is kind of make like a like a channel using this sweet ass polished andesite so if we made a channel out of this andesite like this right we could have the water like flowing down through here let's just finish this off like this so check it out if we if we broke this block over here and let the water pour out that's going to make like a, a pretty cool little like i don't know kind of like altery thingy and then what i was thinking is we could use nether brick stairs to create a final little look over here for this altar check it out right you do it like this so it sort of juts out but it's a part of the of the whole like skirting of the room then let's get some red stained glass up in here and make kind of like a walkway or like a runway i guess the jazz like that and if we get one more bit of polished andesite over there this is the location of our ender chest right that looks pretty sweet and i was thinking what we could possibly do too is maybe join up like the glass over here so it creates like a like a symmetrical kind of line that looks kind of butt 
Let's make some red stained glass paintage. Check it out. No, nope, that looks butt. That looks pretty good. There we go. Bam! That looks awesome. Alright, okay. Awesome, guys. This is it. Now, we can place our ender chest upon the ender chest altar. And this will forever be known as the ender chest of the nether mart of the mole mart bazaar. Kabam! Oh, man. That is so awesome. Check it out, my friends. That is looking absolutely awesome. I'm loving that. And when we get glowstone, glowstone into this position, it's really going to finish off the look of this altar. I think it's going to look absolutely awesome. And maybe what we could do, can you get endermen heads in 1.8? Maybe we can stick some heads on some sticks or something, or add a bit of decoration around here to make it look a little bit more creepy. But uh, I really like that, actually. I kind of like that it's kind of simple. You know? Like you come around the corner and there's this ender chest. And it's, it's just looking, it's looking badass, man. Oh, my friends, I can't believe it is the end of this episode already, man. Time sure does fly when you are having fun with the Cyborg Nation. But unfortunately, guys, I've got to end this episode here because I've got to go to work early tomorrow. But I'm very happy that we got to finish off most of the roof of the bazaar today. I really hope you guys like the new design. I think it's looking absolutely pimps. And I'm absolutely loving the new nether market in the bazaar too, guys. It's looking fan freaking fantastic thanks to everybody as always for all of your helpful comments and ideas in the comment sections you guys are driving my imagination crazy i've only got one more thing to do in today's episode and that is of course to get eight more of you cyber diggity dogs onto the dogolith so without further ado please welcome to the dogolith from youtube subscribers we have got shuffle bot forever arachnia bat Aki 364 and Burton Squared. Welcome to the Cyber Dog Dogolith, my friends. You have been immortalized in the interbubs forever. And now from dogcraft.net, the official Cyber Dog fan community, we have got Grey Full Buster, Darpen Yox, Infected Plays, and Silent Trazzle or Silent Traz 134. <laughs> Welcome, guys, to the Dogolith. And remember, guys, if you want to stand a chance of getting your names on the Dogolith, you need to be a subscriber of the Ren Dog channel and leave me a constructive comment here and there on one of my videos. I choose you guys randomly from my, the comment sections of my videos. There is also a thread on dogcraft.net, the official CyberDog fan community, where you can leave your YouTube username to stand a chance of being stuck onto this bad boy. But remember, guys, if you get, if you ask to get put on the it ain't ever gonna happen and all that'll happen is your butt crack is gonna get violated by a pickaxe thank you so much for watching this episode guys if you enjoyed it you hit that like button if you haven't subscribed yet you hit that freaking subscribe button it's been ren diggity dog playing minecraft survival and we will see you in the next episode